Te kumu kama Pulire mbu ya gekunta Nesi zomwana wendiga Anake sobu te mwange Ne kute kumu kama Pulire mbu ya gekunta Nesi zomwana wendiga Anake sobu te mwange Ne kute kumu kama Pulire mbu ya gekunta Nesi zomwana wendiga Anake sobu te mwange Ne kute kumu kama Pulire mbu ya gekunta Nesi zomwana wendiga Anake sobu te mwange Anake sobu te mwange Anake sobu te mwange Anake sobu te mwango yo Anake sobu te mwange Nekute kumu kama Pulire mbu ya gekunta Nesi zomwana wendiga Anake sobu te mwange Nekute kumu kama Pulire mbu ya gekunta Nesi zomwana wendiga Anake sobu te mwange Nekute kumu kama Pulire mbu ya gekunta Zomwana kwendika Anake sobu te mwange Bwenzi chukire yoche wansicha Nefu kamira nze wansi kusinze Bwenzi chukire yoche wansicha Nefu kamira wansi kusinze Bwenzi chukire yoche wansicha Nefu kamira nze wansi kusinze Bwenzi chukire yoche wansicha Nefu kamira nze wansi kusinze Nekukile yoche wansi cha Nefu kamira nze wansi kusinze Kwenzi chukile yoche wansi cha Nefu kamira nze wansi kusinze Ni wansi kusinze Ni wansi kusinze Ni wansi kusinze Ni wansi kusinze Wensi chukire yoche wansicha Nefu kamira ze wansi musinze Ni wansi kusinze Ni wansi kusinze Ni wansi kusinze Hallelujah, can you please put my microphone right? Hallelujah, thank you Jesus. Thank you Master, thank you Holy Spirit. We worship you for such a time as this. You alone deserve all the glory. You alone deserve all the praise. You alone deserve all the worship. How can we glorify you enough? How can we worship you enough? How can we glorify you, Lord? You deserve all the honor. You deserve all the praise. We we praise you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Naingite Mujifochino Nimpulira Ama nige Nechiti wache Shira visi walero Hulira Yesu Ali wano Na ite Muchifo chino Nebulira
Welcome the Holy Spirit of this moment. He was there in the beginning. He's the one who fell upon the earth when the darkness had hooved. And there was light. Call upon him today. In every darkness in your life. Darkness in your marriage. Darkness in your children. Darkness in everything that you do. For the spirit hoover upon the darkness. When the darkness was all over the earth, nothing was formed. For the spirit you hoover. And there was light. Lord God of Israel, we call upon the Holy Spirit upon every darkness in our marriages. Upon every darkness, in our finances, upon every darkness, upon all altars, may you hoover Holy Spirit, let us see the illumination, may you hoover Holy Spirit, let us see hidden things, 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 let us
ran away from their homes. They don't have a way back their home. It has become darkness because of which they call upon the spirit as we who hovers upon darkness. May you light the way. 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 May you go back where they are supposed to be. And they will return where they are supposed to be. Lord God of Israel. Many of us. The devil has hidden our names in darkness. Because of false accusations. Because of false accusations. May you lighten. May you illuminate God of Israel. May you move a holy spirit. Let there be illumination. And let the truth come out. For every situation that is hidden. We decree illumination. We declare illumination. Spirit of the Lord. Who illuminates. Who hovers upon the place. The light comes. May you hover even today. May you hover our Lord. Situation that are hidden. Issues that have been confused. May you hover upon today. Lord, every pub, every one God of Israel who are waiting, oh Lord. Many are waiting for the visa. Many are waiting for green card. Many are waiting for green card. But there is a situation of darkness. There is a situation that is not understood. We give the spirit of the Lord. The one who hovers. May you hover. May you hover. Let there be illumination. Let there be seen. May you hover. The spirit of the Lord. And let there be illumination. And let there be a seed. And let there be understanding. Whatever the devil has hidden. In our lives. In this ministry. In our marriages. May you hover God of Israel. May you hover spirit of the Lord. And let there be illumination. And let there be illumination. And let there be illumination. As we ask. The one who fell upon the womb of Mary. And there was fruit. To call upon your spirit of the Lord. To move upon every situation of our lives. That have failed to bear fruit. You who fell upon the womb of Mary. And it was able to bear fruit. May you move upon all our businesses. We decree a fruit. We decree Fruitful. We decree a bearing of fruit unto every business. May you move upon our houses. You said in your word there will not be any marriage among us. Not even a person. Not even an animal. May you move a God of Israel. May you move a God of might. May you move a God of heaven and earth. May you move a God of never changes. Let there be multiplication. You have called upon a man with a spirit. You can hover. You can hover. Even our animals. Even our farms. We decree a multiplication. We decree a multiplication. We can raise your voice. We call upon the spirit of the Lord. The one who brings multiplication. 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 She is in holy matrimony. She has not stolen anyone's husband. But she is in holy matrimony. She has no sin. The God of Israel. You who have upon her bed. Let there be multiplication. Upon her bed. Let there be multiplication. Who have upon her family. Who have upon her children. Let there be multiplication. Even in this ministry. Who have upon her bed. May you move a God of might. May you move a God of heaven and earth. Let us see multiplication. Let us see multiplication. Let us see multiplication. Come upon the spirit of the Lord. Come upon the womb of Mary. There was multiplication. Let him move upon every family. 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 Whatever you have is not enough. We decree a multiplication. No power known by man. But by the spirit of the Lord. 
Jesus who lifted up the bread and the fish that were not enough it was multiplying the power that multiplies the power that multiplies things call upon that power say spirit of the Lord may you multiply whatever is not enough in my home whatever is not enough in my children whatever is not enough in my mouth whatever is not enough in my people you multiply God of you multiply God of you there are those who want to wisdom wisdom in your children spirit of the Lord may you hover hover upon our houses hover over our children let there be multiplication multiplication of wisdom increase of revelation increase God of Israel increase of revelation increase of knowledge of anointing of the name of men the name of the name of the name of the name to everything barren in the houses in the churches in the ministries in the businesses the power of God came upon Mary and multiplied that is the power that is present in the beginning the church of the early church because you said in your word that the early church the spirit of the Lord came upon me and it was multiplied and people were multiplied the pastor who is telling me today decreed the spirit of the Lord you hope upon my heart and let there be multiplication I hope upon my ministry and let there be multiplication I hope upon my ministry Mukawalenu Mukawalenu today call upon the spirit of the Lord who brings power and the one who is in hope spirit of the Lord who brings power and the one who is discouraging the heart spirit of the Lord who brings power and the one who is discouraging the heart spirit of the Lord and to him who is discouraged in their business spirit of the Lord who brings power Bible says the spirit of the Lord came upon Samson put on power and took all of her life and tore it 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 because of power the Holy Ghost the spirit of the Lord who brings power to give you power to pray to give you power to tell the Those are discouraged. They are rising. And you need to come upon this place. Come back. Come upon my business. That has been discouraged. Come upon the spirit of the Lord. Who came upon Samson. Who put on power. Those are discouraged. They are rising. And you need to come upon this place. Come back. Come upon my business. That has been discouraged. Come upon the spirit of the Lord. Who came upon Samson. Who put on power. Those who are discouraged. They cannot even go to work. Those who are discouraged. They want even to go to work. Those who are discouraged. They want even to go to work. 
Kuno been married at one year. Kuno been married at one year. Kuno been married at one year. Who began in me Agenda shall finish as Zerubbabel finish Siramani. not by power Siramani. not by mind but by the spirit upon the spirit of the Lord Amalini, who finishes the spirit of the Lord Amalini, who finishes the spirit of the Lord Amalini, who finishes, the of the Lord. Amalini, who finishes. if you have something that failed you to finish this is the moment you call upon the spirit what that began shall finish not by power not by mind but by the spirit as he tells to finish say spirit of the Lord whatever has finished whatever if I began and stopped on the way whatever has refused to move on spirit of the Lord who goes to finish to finish the building he's also going to help me I will also finish I will also finish I will also finish call upon the spirit of the Lord who guides our feet the Bible says those who are led by the spirit are the sons of God somebody is here today somebody is watching you need revelation you need to know where you're going you need to be led where you're going you need God to put for you you need him to show you the way you need him to show you what to do tell him spirit of the Lord the one who leads the footsteps of the righteous you lead me today I'm a child of God take me where I'll find a wife take me where I'll find a husband take me where I'll find faith take me where I'll do the right business take me where you'll open doors spirit of the Lord the one who directs tell him and raise your voice do not mind anybody he wants to waste their time let them waste their time we have come to pray we have come to pray we came to pray raise your voice I'm telling him spirit of the Lord the one who leads may you will order my feet in righteousness that I will not be lost God of Israel do not take me into temptation take me to the still waters take me where the silver and gold you let the children of Israel as a pillar of fire and you are the Holy Spirit you who took and you took them to the promises Lord may you lead us to enter into our promises may you lead us to enter into our destinies Lord God of Israel you are fire let the children of Israel and you are the Holy Spirit you lead us today you lead us today brethren raise your voice and decree leadership of the Holy Spirit he says in his word when the Holy Spirit comes he will lead the leaders in all truth say spirit of the Lord may you lead me tell me where I'm supposed to go show me the truth that will not be crooked and will not be lied to and will not be confused may you lead me on truth may you lead me on truth upon the spirit of the Lord the one who leads in all truth call upon him at this moment call upon him in your house call upon him in your children you will not be confused by the word the spirit of the Lord who leads us in all truth you come upon us today and let there be a leader that leads you come upon us today and let there be a direction may you come upon us today that we shall be led upon us today that we shall be led Lord God of Israel may you take us may you take us where we shall not fall into my grasp where we shall not fall into my grasp where we shall see your grace where we shall see your favor 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 where we shall see your favor
shall see your power. Where shall be your power? Where shall be your power? Where you talking about? Take us in that place. Take us in that place. Call upon the spirit of the Lord. Who lifts? The one who came upon Joshua. Who lifts? The one who came upon Joshua. 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 The one Every time the promoter, the person, they leave you behind. But today, the spirit of the Lord,
Bono boy, it's a young of death is passing. Oh, get a social and you must discriminate against our own. Get a social and I'm a discriminate against our own. Get a social and I'm a discriminate against our own. Get a social and I'm a discriminate against our own. Get a social and I'm a discriminate against our own. Get a social and I'm a discriminate against our own. Get a social and I'm a discriminate against our own. You must set the words in your voice. You must set the words in your voice. Raise your voice. Raise your voice. Raise your voice. And decree. 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 And
Close them, God of Israel. Close God of Israel. And the Spirit of death. We send him the fire. Fire the Holy Ghost. The Spirit of death. Spirit of revelation. Six, eight. We send you the fire. Fire the Holy Ghost. Fire the Holy Ghost. Fire the Holy Ghost. Fire the Holy Ghost. We have no hold. Of our heart. We have no hold. On our houses. We are dedicated in the blood. We are dedicated in the blood. And those beasts. That we see. Daniel 7.5. Those who send in the blood. We fill the blood of Jesus. We fill the blood of Jesus. God you said in your word. The grave does not get us tired. The grave has grief. Today. We send in the blood. Those who think that we will follow us. We send in the blood. 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 We send in the
up your the hands. Your business is over. As you raise your hands, the ministry is winning. Lord God of Israel, you are in your hand. There is no weapon raise against us. But shall prosper. Today, every weapon is raised against us. We repeat all the power. We repeat all the glory. We repeat all the praise. Let it not prosper. 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 Let it
God of Israel. Protection God of Israel. Look at Jerusalem. So you surround us. Surround our houses. Surround our children. Surround the marriages. Surround the ministry. Surround the business. Surround the business. God, you say, Zachariah 2 5. You build a wall of fire. That surrounds us. You build a wall of fire. You surround your house. A wall of fire. You surround your children. A wall of fire. You surround your marriage. A wall of fire. Whatever pursues you. You fall into the consuming fire. You are God of Israel. Today. You are hiding yourselves in your name. Because your name is the mighty tower. The righteous are running to wait. And they are saying. Today. God of Israel. You are hiding your name. Today. We are running to wait. And we hide our children in your name. We hide our houses in your name. We hide everything of us in your name. And we run into wait. The righteous are running to wait. And they are saying. God of Israel, God under that name, the many shall bow, the many trust in chariots, the many trust in hosts, the Lord, we shall not forget your name, and in that name is where we are hiding, in that name is where we hide, thank you Jesus, thank you God of Israel, thank you God Almighty, thank you God of heaven and earth, hallelujah, thank you God of heaven and earth, Blessing over your house that you said in your house, house of the righteous shall be blessed. Lord, we decree a blessing upon our houses, a blessing that has no sorrow. Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we say, Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Not an animal. And our storehouses will always be full. Lord God of Israel, we shall learn to nations and we shall not borrow. We shall be blessed in the country and we shall not borrow. We shall be blessed in the city and we shall not borrow. We shall be blessed as we come in. 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 We shall be it has no tears. Blessing. It has no worry. Blessing. You are blessing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God Almighty. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Lord. We are going to end today's prayer session by building our altars and giving to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We, can, we don't come into the presence of God to shout. It is okay to shout. Elijah shouted. He called upon the God that answers by fire. But he still put a bull on the altar. Whenever you have a chance to dialogue with God, build an altar. Sacrifice. God has given us audience. We began praying at quarter past one. We have prayed for almost an hour. We cannot take that for granted. To have God's ear for more than an, or for almost an hour. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's build an altar. Let us sacrifice. Hallelujah. Amen. Abraham, Ibrahim, when he talked to God, when he covenanted with God, in the book of Genesis chapter 15. He talked for a long time. God talked to him for a long time. But 
after it was done he built an altar and he sacrificed according to God's specification the altar I mean the sacrifice invokes the spirit on the altar that's why when Elijah sacrificed God came down as a fire in the book of Genesis chapter 15 when Abraham sacrificed God came down as a fire when Solomon sacrificed God came down as a fire so if you want to see the fire of God come down and burn your poverty your debt your disease always make sure you build an altar and sacrifice all your sacrifices will be going to Karamoja as usual so let's see what's happening in Karamoja. Hallelujah. Planted. And we have been through a time of harvesting. There have been corn harvesters at work. Harvesting. That is not soil, that is food. And what we did is we got that food and we packed it. We put it in bags and we wrote, Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. And we gave out this food to the poor. Hallelujah. And that's, that's, that's the poor receiving their food. And right now, we are planting again. Hallelujah. Amen. Because of the rainy season, part of the, the, the plants that we have, the seed that we planted has already begun to grow. But we need more money. We need more money to plant over a wide area. The plants have begun to grow. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God Almighty. So we need more money to plant, to, to buy seed so that Karamoja will have a continuous supply of food. The word of God came to Cornelius and it said your prayers and the giving of alms have come up to God as a memorial. Every time you pray add the giving of arms so that your prayers can go up as a memorial. Hallelujah. Amen. The number is on the screen for those of you who are giving from outside. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us build our altars. Let us sacrifice. Hallelujah. Amen. Father in heaven, we come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. We glorify you and thank you for such a time as this. We thank you for the opportunity to sacrifice. As we sacrifice today, we want to see the God that answers by fire. The God that came down when Elijah sacrificed. The God that came down when Abraham sacrificed. The God that came down when Solomon sacrificed. And as we give today, may our prayers and the giving of arms come up to you as a memorial. As we give, may it be given back to us. Good measure. Pressed down. Shaken together. Shall men give unto our bosoms. Multiply this seed and let it bear much fruit. And Father, as we give today, for those of us that are tithing, open the windows of heaven. Rebuke the devourer for our sex. For the, those of us who are giving 
living in famine. May we reap a hundredfold. And those of us who are giving in tears, may we return rejoicing in the name of Jesus. We have prayed. Amen and amen. Again, those who are giving from online, you are watching television, the number is on the screen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you don't get an, an immediate response, just keep on um, sending. Hallelujah. Amen. If we can have a number as people give. is the day that the Lord has met and we will indeed rejoice in it. I want to welcome all of you to today's lunch hour. I especially welcome those of you online and on television. And I want to give a special welcome to those who have endeavored to join us today. Hallelujah. Our God is a good God. Hallelujah. And uh, we are going to be brief there is a revival service tonight as usual. Hallelujah. And um, we are going to divert a bit uh, today. We are, I want to talk because we are in a season of fasting. I mean, uh, the, the Muslims are fasting. The Catholics have been fasting. And uh, in the months at the beginning of the year, and towards the end of the year, the, 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 the Balokoli have been fasting as well. And today I want us to look at, to begin to look at one 
are some of the reasons why we fast. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because there are so many people who are not taught on prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. And uh, the, it is a very wide topic. So we are not going to exhaust it today. Today we are just having a sneak preview. Hallelujah. Mukama Murunji nyo. Father, one more time, I present myself as a vessel willing to be used of you. I pray that if there is anything in me that is more of me, that I will increase even as you increase. Anoint my tongue like the pen of a ready writer for clarity of speech so that no one we live the same way they came. We thank you, Jesus. And Father, we thank you that as your word goes forth today to those that are bound may it be deliverance. To those that are hurting and sorrowful may it be glad tidings. To those that are sick may it be the healing balm of Gilead. I decree and declare that every sense in this place is now subject to the authority of the Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, one of the reasons why we fast is so that we can be sensitive to the spiritual realm. Whenever the flesh is weak, the spirit is strong. And we have seen that Jesus said to Paul that my grace is sufficient for you. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. When your body is weak, God's strength is perfect. And that is why most times when people are fasting, they will find that they will dream more they will see more visions. They will hear the voice more, the voice of God more audibly. Because the flesh has been weakened. And it is not getting into the way of the spirit. Paul said, I discipline my body. I put my body under. This fasting is one of the ways where we submit our bodies. We break them. And then our souls will be so humbled. And so Even David said in Psalm 69 10, he said, I wept and humbled my soul with fasting. Every time your soul is not humble, your flesh will be so strong and people will be so lasting. People will be quarreling. They will be full of anger and depression. They will be so worried. Food is driven by food. So it is so difficult. 
to go and commit adultery if you've been fasting for a week. You will not have such strength. But the strength of the spirit is made perfect by and this body when this body is weak and that is what is going to happen to you if you decide to seek the Lord my strength is made perfect in weakness and that is why when John the Baptist saw Jesus coming he said may I decrease may my flesh may my body decrease so that he can increase in me Fasting enables us to tap into the spiritual realm to become awake spiritually to listen to the voice of God. Because your flesh is down and your spirit is up. So let us go to the reading today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 4. This is about Jesus. For 40 days, being tempted by the devil, he ate nothing during those days. And when they were ended, he was hungry. Jesus was eating nothing. He was being tempted by the devil. The Bible says when those days, the 40 days were over, he was very hungry. Now if Jesus who was God had to fast, what about you and I? And he, 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 this scripture already shows us one of the reasons we, we fast. Because he was being tempted by the devil. Fasting reduces temptation. He was, he was tempted 40 days and 40 nights without eating anything. Um, fasting will resist you or hinder you from falling into temptation. Brethren, when the strength of the flesh reduces, even temptations are not, no longer attractive. If there's somebody who is watching me today, and temptations are all over you, you're the one who's lasting all the time. You're the one quarreling all the time. You're the one falsely accusing all the time. You enter into fasting. Jesus was tempted 40 days. He was so hungry, but he was able to overcome the temptation. The Bible says Bible. when they when they were ended he was hungry and the devil came to him and said if you are the son of God command this stone to become bread and Jesus answered him it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the living God the Bible says Jesus was hungry but even though he was hungry the word of God was in his spirit the word of God was in his soul he had a revelation he had a rema word he had a logos word because he had been fasting fasting enables us to tap into the spiritual realm and hear what God is saying. 
Fasting enables God to talk to us. Fasting anoints our tongues with the word of God. We are able to say what God says because we are dialoguing with God. We are, we are communicating with God. The Bible says the same thing about Moses that in Exodus in Exodus chapter 34 verse 28 the Bible says he was on the mountain 40 days he did not eat, he did not drink but he wrote down what God was saying and when he wrote down what God was saying those became the ten commandments if you want God to speak to you audibly first first Moses went up the mountain he didn't drink no eat but God gave him the ten commandments and God spoke to him and and wrote, Moses wrote down these days so many people are preaching there's no revelation others speak but the word of the Lord is not in their hearts others read their Bible but they forget what they have read but every time you fast there is a realm in the spirit that you enter in and God begins to speak to you 40 days Moses is in the wilderness 40, Jesus 40 days he is in the wilderness Jesus was full of the word of God Moses was given a word and was he put them on the tablets you come out of fasting brethren you'll have revelation that is not like others you come out of fasting brethren and you'll know the word of the Lord God would have given you what to speak I don't know what you need to know from God maybe you want God to speak about your marriage maybe you want God to speak about the situations of your children God knows the hidden things and he said I will show them to you how will he show them to you if you go, you go, to, if you, if you go deep into the deep of the deep and he speaks to you God is looking for our undivided attention without the flesh coming into the way he has tried to talk to us but when he's talking to us our body is so strong we are thinking of other things this body is so bad I've, I've, I've seen people who have abused the word of God they, they, they speak it so that they do evil they are preaching the word of God but twisting it so that it will support them in their sin that's why God wants to speak to us when this body is subjected and so many times God wait for you when you're asleep that's what the Bible says that in Job chapter 33 verse 15 that he speaks to us in visions in, dream, in, in dreams in visions of the night as people sleep because if he speaks to us when our body is strong 
we will misinterpret what he's saying. We will use it for our own benefit. So he waits for our body to be disciplined, to be subjected, and the best time for God to speak to you is when you are fasting. So Jesus was hungry. But the word of God was on his lips. You don't have an answer because you are in the fleshly realm. They can ask you a question. Every time we take a fast, we will ask God to talk to us. Because that is the best time for him to be to, to communicate. For when our flesh is weak, when we are weak, then his strength is made perfect. When we decrease, then he increases. Hallelujah. Amen. Acts chapter 13 verse 2 says, While they were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit set apart, the Holy Spirit said to them, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. When they were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Spirit of the Lord talked to them and said to them, Set apart from me Barnabas and Saul the disciples the, the, the apostles were worried about who was going to do what in the early church they needed an answer who was going to serve tables who was going to be the usher who was going to be the pastor who was going to be the minister so they decided to start fasting there are things that confuse us. But if you want an answer today, God still speaks. If we can discipline our flesh, the Bible says as they were fasting, the Holy Spirit spoke and he said, I have anointed Barnabas, I have anointed Saul, let them go and preach the word. Let them be the apostles. Let them be the evangelists. Let them spread the word of God. God is going to answer you. God will speak to you about your destiny. When you fast, God will show you what he has called you to do. God will enlighten you about your purpose. When you fast, They were fasting and spoke to them. The Someone wrote to me and said, The ministry that I am in does not understand my calling. Pastor Julia is the one who brought the letter. If you're watching on television, enter into fasting. God speaks through fasting. These ones were not called to serve tables. They were called to go and preach the gospel. And the moment they began to fast, these people were not understood. But when they began to pray and fast, the Holy Spirit spoke. In this fasting, God shows your destiny. In this fasting, God opens the eyes of men and they know why you are called in this fasting. God answers people's questions. As they were fasting, God, God spoke to them. 
Moses went up the mountain and God spoke to him God spoke to him concerning the destiny of Israel and even wrote those things on the tablets. 40 days and 40 nights was not eating and drinking and God spoke to him. Jesus also went to the wilderness and the devil appeared to him. He, he also the word of the Lord was upon his tongue when you're in fasting the word of the Lord will be upon you upon your tongue because you'll be knowing it. You'll be hearing it. That which you have heard you cannot fail to speak out. And God revealed to them the destiny of Barnabas and Saul. So many people. You, you've, you've started a journey, you've not even prayed and fasted, even inquired from the Lord. You woke up one morning and you said that you're a prophet. You wake up one morning, begin to and you began to abuse your fellows. Just falsely accusing your fellows. But yet, the reason why you're doing the reason why you're doing all that because you did not inquire from the Lord, you didn't fast. Brethren, before you enter into anything, fast. Let God show you that that is where you're supposed to be. Let God show you that that is what you're supposed to do. Let God show you that that is where you're supposed to go. As they were fasting, God said, set a pile apart Barnabas and Saul for the work which I have called them. We need to fast before we endeavor on any venture. We need to fast before we set out to do anything profound. We need to fast before we make major decisions. Paul and Barnabas knew that they were anointed. But they first entered into a fast. For them to hear what God is saying. For them to know where God is taking them. To hear what they're supposed to do. Do not trust the anointing and you do not trust your anointing and you fail to seek God. Paul had the anointing. But still they declared the first Today, if there's anybody who has no direction, brethren, fast. I told that fasting is so broad we've just begun to eat. We won't exhaust it today because it has so many particles and, and, and we cannot finish it today. Jesus spoke something that I want you to hear that I think is very profound. In Mark chapter 2, verse 18, people came to him and they asked him, Why do John's disciples and the, and the disciples of the Pharisees fast? And your disciples do not fast. And Jesus said, Can the wedding guests fast when the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. The day will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and they will fast in that day. 
Katibaze wa Yesu. They've come to Jesus. They say the disciples of John the Baptist are fasting. The disciples of the Pharisees. The disciples of the Pharisees fast. But Jesus, your disciples are only eating. Jesus told them the bridegroom. The bridegroom is amongst them. He's talking to them. He's moving on this earth. These ones are sitting with Jesus and eating with him. They were dialoguing with him. So they needed not to seek him. Because his voice was audible like mine right now. He had become flesh. So Jesus was asking, don't you see that the bridegroom is still to, with them? They can still hear his voice. But the time is going to come. When he's not there in person, he will be there in the spirit. They have to enter into the spiritual realm for them to hear him. Now this is the time, brethren. Jesus is not here in person. He's here in the spirit. There is a realm that we have to enter in for us to hear him. So the disciples of John were not near Jesus. Where they were, they were fasting because they were not with him. They were not fasting because they were They had to enter into the spiritual realm for them to hear him because they, they were far away from him. But the disciples of Jesus were with him. So they didn't not have to fast. But he says the day is going to come. And brethren, this is the time. When you will not have me, but I will be somewhere. I will be in the realm of the spirit. But you have to submit your bodies so that you may hear me speak. You may see me. He says in the latter days I'll pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. The young men will see visions. The young men will see visions. He says he will pour out his spirit, but he doesn't pour out his spirit on somebody when the body is so much. Stronger. The body must be disciplined first. For you to enter into the realm of that spirit who is poured out on you. Hallelujah. Amen. And then you hear the voice of God. Fasting disciplines our body. And Paul said, I discipline my body, I put my body under. The bridegroom is no longer with us. But we can see him. We can talk to him. We can hear from him. He can give us an answer. If only we can discipline our bodies. If we can put our bodies under. The, the Bible says, What has the flesh got to do with the spirit? They, they don't, they, you, you, you cannot put the two together. When the flesh is there, the spirit will not be there. What has darkness got to do with light? So that's why we discipline the darkness, we discipline the flesh, we discipline the bodily uh, uh, desires by fasting. And we begin to hear the voice of God. The bridegroom is not with us, but we can still talk to him. We can still hear him. 
if we tap into that spirit that that that, that the spiritual realm but tuna roba munse yo moyo if we tap into the spirit the spiritual realm by by fasting but tuna roba munse yo moyo okuita mukusiba Joel chapter 2 verse 12 says yet even now declares the Lord Return to me with all your heart with fasting Return to me with all your heart with fasting with weeping and with mourning Kakati emitima ja fejige na ne jibula nkaka ne ji ensine jibuza our house will get derailed by the world. You think about so many things and your heart moves away. But Jesus says, return. Return to me with all your heart. With fasting. Fasting brings back the heart. So that when God is speaking, your heart is receptive. When God is speaking, your heart is attentive. When God is speaking, even here, as I'm speak, preaching now, do you think that everybody is listening? Uh, uh, Not everybody. The hearts are already gone. Another you, you another one was duped, the heart is already gone. The feet may want. They come and sit here in church. But first is what brings back the heart. Amen. Fasting brings back the heart. Return to me with all your heart. With fasting and weeping and mourning. I don't know where your heart is. But brethren, in a time of fasting, your heart shall return. Shall return. And speak the word. And you hear the word of the Lord. And to become like food. And to be sweet for you. That's why Isaiah said. I ate the scroll because was as sweet as honey because the heart was present somebody is watching me and their heart is heavy it is run away it is in Chiembe it is in Chisenyi it is in the business arcade it is in the mall your counting money is not adding up they are money you rain fasting brings back the heart you will even be expectant of the lunch hour return to me with all your heart with fasting with weeping with warning If you want your whole heart to return, Uganda, brethren, first. Somebody will say, oh, I don't know what she was even talking about. But the problem is not with the preacher. The problem is in, on the heart. It is not present. But fasting returns the heart. You develop a desire for the word of God. You enter expecting. You come out full. You write the notes and you don't trash it. You buy another notebook uh, so looking forward to put 
down notes. Return to me. With fasting. With weeping. With mourning. Your heart is returning. So sensitive to the word of God. Your heart returns. That's why Jesus. In just a second, he replied to the devil and said, Now that is the way to the Lord. In fasting, you remember the scriptures, and even prayer will not be heavy. But try to pray in the strength of food. You will wonder. Those are the people who straight away stand in speaking tongues. Because in speaking tongues, but the Bible says the one who prophesies is better than the one who speaks in tongues. Because the tongues build you not the church because if you're leading prayer it's not good to lead in tongues. You can only speak tongues in public for if there is an interpreter. That is when the people will benefit. If someone can interpret your tongues. But if I just come here today, I open the Bible. The Bible says tongues build you. You the one who is speaking them. But when you are fasting, the heart is returns today. May the heart that was lost return when you fast. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. is sensitive to the word of God. Let it return and the way and there is a good it is a chigambo chakatonda. Hallelujah. Amen. Mukama Mulonji. God is good. Kakati, Ugamoksiba Kunokulonji, your name, and so send every time, ne, 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 Fasting is good, but I've begun with the difficult things. But we shall go on speaking the simpler ones. So let us go to the book of Daniel, chapter 10. Because Daniel also fasted. And he was fasting for an answer from God. He was fasting so that he could get an interpretation from God. From, for the vision that he for a vision he had had. Hallelujah. Amen. If you want an answer from God, it is okay to fast. Hallelujah. Amen. Daniel chapter 10. Daniel chapter 10. In the third year of Cyrus, king of Persia, a message was revealed to Daniel, whose name was called Balthasar. The message was true, but the appointed time was long. And he understood the message and had understanding of the vision. In those days, I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. I ate no pleasant food. No meat or wine came into my mouth. No did I anoint myself at all. Two, three whole weeks were fulfilled. The message was true. But the appointed time was long. And he had understanding of the vision. And, and, and so he went into fasting and praying. And an angel of the Lord comes to him in, the, in, in verse 12. In verse 14. 
and says now I have come to make you understand what will happen to your people in the later days for the vision refers to many days to come Daniel gets a vision. He thinks he's understood it. Then he enters into prayer and fasting. The angel came from heaven and spoke to him and said, Daniel, the vision that you got is not for now, it's for the later days. Now so many people God shows you something that is for 10 years to come. You want to do it yourself and move in it right now. That's why we need God to speak to us. That we may understand times and seasons. Daniel fasted and prayed. God came and told him, Daniel, you got a vision but it's for the days to come maybe you've been confused you, you, there's something that you need to do now but you're sleeping over it you need to fast you need to seek God because if you miss the time of your visitation you will have missed God there are people who are sitting when they should be running with their visions and there are people who are running with their visions when they should be seated waiting on God you can only find out if you can fast. Can you imagine Daniel was also very anointed. He was the only interpreter of dreams at that time. But he also needed to fast. He also needed to seek the face of God regarding the timing of what God has shown. Not everything God shows you is for now. But again, not everything God shows you is for next year. Some of the things that God shows, He wants you to do them right now. And if you don't do them in the right time, you miss the timing of your visitation. If you want the anointing of the sons of Issachar, the anointing to discern the seasons of the, the times, you need to fast. What does God want me to do when? There are times that I have fasted and I came out of a fast and I had begun to do something and when I come out of the fast something happens and that thing stops and something else comes up and I realize that I was not moving in the timing of God. As you begin to fast God will align your footsteps with his calendar and you will begin to walk according to his clock you will not be too early and we, you will not be too late you will be just in time fast if you are not sure of God's time because anything done any right thing done in the wrong time becomes the wrong thing bathing is good but if I leave the pulpit now before my sermon and I say ngenze and I say I've gone to take a shower then it, it becomes a wrong thing although it's a correct thing I leave you wondering why I'm leaving to go and shower this time so any right thing done in the wrong time becomes the wrong thing 
And that's why God says to Daniel. The vision is for years to come. People have married at the wrong time. Began ministries at the wrong time. Ran out of ministries at the wrong time. You feel the anointing is too much and so let me go and begin. You arrive there and nothing happens. You walk in bitterness and unforgiveness. Seek the timing of God. Through fasting. Daniel. Daniel. He had understood the vision. Many, many theologians say he hadn't understood. No, the Bible says he understood the vision and he, 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 he knew what it meant. Yes. But he did not know the timing. And when the angel came, he said the vision is for times to come in the future. Fasting enables God to speak to you and give you direction because it disciplines the body, it weakens the body. You are able to walk according to what God wants you to walk and do. So today, as we fast, we should remember that fasting is mainly for us. It's not for the heavens. It is for us. Now, we may not have time to discuss how we fast. Do not go in to dry fast 40 days and 40 nights because pastor said you die for nothing. Do not go that way. As we finish, let me, let me teach you the fasting that does not benefit you. Isaiah 58 and verse 3. Why have we fasted? These ones are asking the Lord, why did you see that? And you see us not. Not at all. Why have we humbled ourselves? And you take no knowledge of us. See what the Lord is, the Lord's answer is. Behold, in the day of your fast, you seek your own pleasure. You cannot fast something that makes you happy but does not make God happy. You cannot fast for a woman to die so that you may enter into her marriage. You cannot fast for a man to leave their wife so that you may become the wife. You cannot fast for somebody to die so that they leave the business for you. So the Lord is saying when you fast, you fast for your own joy. You don't fast. You don't fast my will. You don't fast. You desire to hear my voice. You don't fast. You desire for my direction. You only fast for your things. 
You cannot fast for your enemy to die. Bible says God does not pleasure in the death of anybody. But he desires that we may get saved and turn away. But he desires that we may get saved and turn away. But the born again will rejoice when the person is dead. But the born again will rejoice when the person is dead. And they say God has answered us. He says you fast for your own pleasure. These people came to God and they said, Why do we fast? Why do we humble ourselves? You don't hear us, you don't see us. Now God is responding because you are fasting for your own pleasures. Lia, so if you are fasting for, to find your own pleasure I'm giving you wisdom just eat do not make yourself hungry Lia, eat and Boba, if you fast for someone to die, it will not work. He says you fast for your own pleasure. I'm not in your fast. Now you are fasting for your own pleasure. Others are saying, Pastor, let me read for you again. Isaiah 58. Sometimes I hate you, but today I'm not hating. Why have fifty-eight verse three? Why have we fasted and you see it not? Why have we humbled ourselves and 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 you take no knowledge of it? Behold, in the day of your fast, God is telling them, "Laba kuru na kuro kusiba kwamu." You seek your own pleasure. Me muno nyia sanyuri ya me muka. Te muno nyia kuagala kuange. Te muno nyia kulunga mia kuange. Te muno nyia chigambo chaange. You're not seeking my will. You're not seeking my direction. You're not seeking my word. Musibi abe mwe bina basanyu samwe yagale tuwa sibi tuwa mumazeo. You seek your fasting for you to find your pleasure. We fasted and their business is closed, so ours shall stand. We fasted and their business is closed, so ours shall stand. We fasted for them and they died. 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 We fasted for is not a witch doctor. He works according to his word. Not according to your word. Hallelujah. Amen. And God is saying that is a, that is a, a, a spoiled fast. That is a fast that will not work. It is a fast of your mind. It is a fast of your desire. And it is a useless fast. A fast that you cannot back up with scripture. A fast that you cannot say, this is my legal spiritual husband. I am I am praying for him to come back home. That is okay. It's okay because the Bible says you fast for someone else husband to come to you. He says that you're fasting for your own pleasure. You fast and say, we have fasted, we are humbling ourselves. Why do we humble ourselves? You're fasting for something that is stolen for it to work. The other person died and left businesses for the orphans you entered in and robbed everything. You're, you're there fasting for the businesses to work. 
God, those are your own things. You are fasting for your pleasures. You are wasting time. I won't see it. I won't hear it. Or someone else's marriage. Let me so also go that way. You say I hate a lot. You're there in someone else's marriage fasting. Lord, use me. Let me have more, let me be more glorious than the other one. Is he telling you in Isaiah 58? That is your fast. I'm not in that fast. That's why things are big. big becoming more confusing. Things are becoming even more confusing. You fast as they get confused. Close the fasting. Go back to the witch doctor. Eat your food. You go grow, going thin for nothing. Eat and look good. And we shall know so and so is a witch doctor. Don't waste your time fasting. For anything that you cannot back up with the word of God. He says, those are your things. You are seeking your own pleasure. That is why that fast will not work. It is not my will. It has to be aligned with the will of God. It has to be supported by the word of God. That is the first. I don't know why and told them uh, there's no scripture to back up this because the Lord has not yet spoken whether he is yours but I told them that the Bible says in Isaiah there's no creature that will lack a mate now pray according to the scripture that God will give you your own spouse, your partner. Do not fast to, to, to win the competition. Ah, ah. No. Gamba mukama. Tell the Lord you promised us nothing shall lack a mate. Nange. Even me Olunakurarero. today. I'm fasting and I'm seeking you to to hear your voice. Let bring a partner. Anything that you cannot back up with the word of God, my dear, don't waste your time. Eat your food, eat your meat, eat everything. Because now first for the re- you were fasting for the rest to, to fall sick, so they won't come for the interview. What if they also fast? He says, you, you are seeking your own pleasure. And then he goes on to say, and while you are fasting, you oppress your workers. Behold, you fast only to quarrel and to fight and to hit with a wicked fist. 
fasting like yours, this day will not make your voice to be heard on high. This is in the Bible. Isaiah 58 verse 3 to 7. Behold, you fast only to quarrel and to fight. And to hit with a wicked fist. Fasting like yours this day will not make your voice to be heard on high. Fasting that ends in quarreling, abusing people won't work. In oppressing, it won't also work. Ah, hallelujah. Amen. That is good. The first thing you should say, go take away the anger. I'm entering into a fast. This Bible is describing malice. People who walk in malice, malice and strife. Bible. And you fast in malice and strife. Bible, you get a kuban to Abad, um, Aban to Piga. And yet, and yet, they they never language the HC, when I'm going to malice, I'm going strife. But they declare a fast, but yet they're in malice and strife. Hallelujah. Amen. If you're in a time of prayer, even if someone comes and begins to provoke you. Don't even go there. Don't allow your heart to be stolen and say, let me change now first for this person to die on fast and something wrong happens. No, 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 no. Because God has told you he's not in it. And he says this type of fast will not be heard from on high. Because it's fasting for the wrong reasons. It is fasting like a shrinist. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, we've sat with the hardest, but do not be discouraged. We need we must teach these things. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. I don't want your fast to be spoiled. People fast and find them looking so bad. But the fast is wrong. I've seen people fast and they run mad. And whatever is they are saying is just confusing. And yenga it is the strife and the malice in him or her ye muletero kulabe ebintu ebifu emuletero ebintu kulabe ebichamu they are speaking this and that but the malice and the strife ebili munda muye cause them to see the wrong things because they've been fighting fasting with the wrong intent they even see the wrong things in the spiritual realm they tap into the realm that is not the realm of the holy spirit they tap into a demonic realm Then you realize that was not his wife to me. God appeared to me and showed to me with that which they are in is mine. Because the, the, the strife and the jealousy, the, the, that realm has its own God. The, that realm has its own God. Katikatondo yoyayingira wongo tandiso oku 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 kodi ma 
Echisibe chini mwe bikoli, echikoli mwa ba na bete bali fuka chini chona, bali kete echikoli mo, ebi ebi sibe ebi obo ebi. So the God of that world will intervene into those fasting where you say they are children. Bili na katonda wa we, wa abio. Those things in that realm have their God. It is a wisdom that is evil. Amagezi amabi. Agasitani and 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 its and its God is Satan. Amagezi gasitani iranga katonda wago ye sitani. Eroge no kula banga bantu abata bambi sibe bimye basi na bantu. You realize that people who don't live such fast are the ones who murder people. Kubanga katonda we 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 nse yoja ingiro kusiva mu. Because the God of that realm that they enter into fast. Ya ingira wo is the one who comes in. It's not a godly realm. Si msi ya katonda. So don't don't even dare fast in. O mula la nave ranga mulu kore na inga mula lunga bandangi. O mani there are many people ba guwe dalu guwe mula ba bula bibia yoke la tibi kuata gana. Muka havana gomu tono ya bachi. Na inga ba ambi. I never ziba we ya ingi da watali wa katonda. You see when a believer and they are mad. There are so many people who are mad and then you wonder what happened. They entered into a realm that is not godly. Some people divert and begin to teach doctrines that are not of God. And they get scriptures and they twist them. Because they fasted with wrong intent. Instead of hearing from God, the way Moses fasted and heard from God on the mountain and came back with, with the Ten Commandments, they come back with a revelation from Satan. And they begin to believe what they say. May God humble us. May he humble our souls so that when we are, pray, we are fasting, we are fasting according to the will of God and according to his word. Those things of fasting for people to have problems, that is a wrong kind of fast. It's taking you nowhere. Balam. Balam. Omula guzi e yali ku 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 alabika mu 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 the book of numbers in the bible. The the word lock who appears in mukubara. He was going to curse the children of Israel. Yali agena kuli mira bana ba israel. But the donkey that was taking him refused to take him. Na yen dogo yeri mutwala ni gano mutwala. The curse did not see fruition. E chiva e ch e chikuli mo techa bara. Because there was no iniquity found in is in Israel. Kuvanga temwa sangi wa mochiwi mo yisiraiiri. So they and he had built so many altars. Era yali azimbi ebyo tobinji nyo. But despite the fact that he had built all those altars, the 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 donkey did not take him. Ne wangu ba denga yali azimbi ebyo tobi ebyo na endo go ite yamutuara. Abolu ganda ne bo siiba. Brethren, even if you fast, no choose a location and you change location. No gena ne no vane mo nyumba yo no gena mountain ogo ne vane natu jabi ogo da koko. You leave your house. O kusiiba si chifu. You leave your house and go to Mount Elgon. Nothing will work. Location is not fasting. Location is not fasting. I don't know why I got such such things. I'm not sure if I'm going to be angry. Or Musa is in your house. Jesus is going to be in your house. Daniel is going to be in your house. Or if you're going to be in your house. People went to different locations and fasted. Moses on the mountain. Daniel was on the on the seashore. Jesus was in the wilderness. Oh, you know, oh, you know, come from Nyumba. You go there. No one is going to be in your house. Call a chief. Call a chief. Because you're not going to be in your house. And people will tell you, leave your house, go to the mountains. Even these days, that wish doctors go to mountains. We shall talk all about that. That the topic today is different. No matter how many altars you build. 
no matter how much shouting you do si songa olekana kwenkana chi no matter how fast fasting you do si songa osibotia if that fast cannot be backed up with something that is godly that something that is ordained of god ekintu kyo twanga techi sembe wa chintu cha katunda obe chiveri katunda you are wasting your time obo mala buddebo okusiba kufusenge ndogo itejja genda mu maso fasting has become like a donkey it will not move forward ndogo yagamba bala muntu olugendo logendo kutambula sirwa uvunanyi ziba wacho ntwa lokoli mira israeli sigenda genda the donkey told bala the, the journey that you're, not, you're taking is not responsible i will not take you hallelujah amen mukama mulunji nyo god is so good owo luganda brethren oluna kulalero today kankomena wano kubanga naba desili wagende no maso nyo point na yenge chechisibe chechisibe chitakugasa okusiba engeri yo kusiba tugenda kusomako and how no rejo bobato manyi engeri chi ya kusiba totandika bobato manyi bwe batandika totandika if you don't know how to begin how to fast do not naye kubulide chisibo echisokera da choto ina na kugeza ako kono na budde kukoga kusiwuka ngo li kuchisibo echi which will not help anybody i've told you about the fasting that will not help you just to for you just to fast and become small hallelujah mukaba mulunji nyo tukoma wo na kulalero hallelujah twale chigambo chino zimba all time mu chifocho ulide mu chigambo hallelujah eh sagala kubaka abya maziga manchi i don't want you to cry too much hallelujah amen god is god tomorrow we will continue Incha tujagenda makwe yongera yo. Haleluya. Amen. Tomorrow we will continue. Incha tujagwe yongera yo. Regarding fasting. Chinamo chino weba chikuteko. If this word has touched you. Kwate nsigo yo tuzimbe oltari mu chifocho ulide mu chigambo Bible gamba when Jacob had the word of God he built an altar he sacrificed. Bible gamba tino. Fe wano mumira ko sente chigambo bo ulira nga chiku ko okwate nsigo yono nojiteka unozimba otali kuchigambe echo ko chenyene if he at miracle center if the word touches us we take over ainoga mukama chitute mukama akulunga mye ngosiba may god direct you as your first akomye wo mutima go and bring back your heart guve yeri mumbujja mufutwa mubusungu bring it back from jealous from anger mubutem in mada Haleluya. Amen. Mukujja kuzanga abantu bafudde. Ho oh, mukamai. Yes, yes, yes. Azemwe sala yange. In celebrating on people's day saying Jesus has answered my achikoze, prayer. Achikoze. That is so yes, it's so unbiblical. Echo sicha techili mu Bible. So immature. Techicha muntu akuze. There is no Christian who should celebrate death. Keri mu Kristo ina kujaguza kufa kwa mulala. No 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 no. Nedda. Kubanga Yesu God himself the Bible says he does not he does not rejoice in anybody's death but he wishes that we will repent and turn back to him and live. Neka tunatasa nikila mukufa kwa mtu yena na yaya garanti fena tuenenye tudejali tuyera. That is his word. Ito che chigambo che. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. Katonda mulungi. Hallelujah. Amen. Everything you are giving today, the Lord sees who bina muntu yenaye na butawa yongo maze okulia emere fana nanga bweti. Muri nyali ha yes. The number is on the screen. Everything you give today. Buli chona chemu wayo lero is going to Karamoja. Chigenda Karamoja. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Munzize yoke Karamoja. Let's go back. Njagala buli omwa kwa tensi go yabali ku TV yabali ku line the number is on the screen. Everyone online and television a number ku routine. Ogenda ku chiwa yongo langirira ntche wachali chisibo chifuche ngenda kola. You decree I declare and say I will not do I will not do any fast that is wrong. Wa wala ngenda kola echi ngenda kusiba mpulire dogozi lya katonda. But I'll fast and hear the voice of the Lord. Now we don't only fast to hear the voice of the Lord. Tetusiba kula dogozi ya mukama choka. But we are going to see the other reasons why we fast. Ne tugena kula bane songe ndala rwachi tusiba. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We have harvested in Karamoja that is food. Tukungu de mere Karamoja eyo yemere. And we have put the food in bags. Emere tujitadde mukotia. And we have given it to the poor. Tujigabi daba 
and that is the poor receiving their food. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, we are now planting seed. Uh, because of the rain, uh, some of the seed that we planted has already begun to 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 to, to you know, to germinate as you can see. And, uh, but we need more money to plant more seed. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, whatever you give is going, is going to buy seeds. To, 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 to. To, to see karamoja so that karamoja can have a continuous supply of food. Karamoja solo kwa ne mire eta koma. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. Katonda mulungi. And all the time our God is good. Ekisera chona katonda wa femulu. E rabo bongo ina abantu boba dena bonga muiga semuli chimuche si bache fu awoluganda chidukem. If you've been with a group of people that you've joined with and you're fasting a wrong fast, run away from it. Chiti chidukem. Baga mizengeze kulia. Run away and tell them I've gone to eat. Get and make your omelette. Your pancakes and tea. And break that fast. You'll fast the right fast. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. So everything you give today will go to Karamoja. And uh, he who gives to the poor lends to the Lord. And the Lord will repay you with interest. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, because he says he, he uh, given it shall be given unto you good measure, pressed down, shaken together shall men give unto your bosom. Hallelujah. Amen. Online, you online on television, take hold of your seat. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And say, Lord, in the next first, as a builder note, come down and speak to me. Show me times and seasons. Show me what you're saying. Show me my destiny. As you did to Barnabas and Paul. Show me times and seasons. As you did to Daniel. Tell, tell me words. And let me write them down as you did to Moses. Give me a word like you gave to Jesus. And Father, today, we thank you that as we build our altars and give. We are lending to your God. And Father, it will be given unto us. Good measure. Press down. Shaken together. Shall men give unto our bosoms. And Father, for those of us that are tithing, rebuke the devourer for our sake. Open up the windows of heaven. For those who are giving in fame, may we reap a hundredfold. And for those of us who are giving in tears, may we reap in joy. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Those of you on TV, those of you online, the number is on the screen. Hallelujah. Tune on this week so that we can see how to fast and why we fast. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.